Okay, so in this video, we're going to try to get the rest of the home page done. We're going to do the icon blocks and then the pricing tables. Okay, so let's go back to the index.html file. And we left off with the carousel, okay, which ends right here after this section. So we're going to create a new section. Okay, and I'm going to call this going to be class marketing. All right, so uh, we want a container. Okay, and then we want a row. And if you're going to be working with Bootstrap a lot, I would suggest putting this this code that I'm typing right now into a snippet. Uh, because it's you're going to be using it a lot. All right, so basically section, container, row, column. Okay, because typing it out every single time is a little tedious. Um, so what we're going to do is have three four-column divs. So we want div class call md4. Okay, so I'm going to have two more of these. Okay, and in the first one, let's see, we're going to put in our icon in an i tag. Okay, class will be fa, fa user. All right, and then we're going to have an h2, and this will say 27, not 27, 24, 7. Uh, support. I wish there was 27 hours in a day. All right, so next we'll have paragraph. Actually, I'm going to just paste this in instead of typing it out. Make it a little faster. Okay, just a simple paragraph. And then underneath that, we're going to have a button inside of a paragraph uh, or a link. Okay, class will be btn, btn, and then another btn dash default. I think that's right. Yeah, and we're just going to set the href to go to nothing. Uh, and then, let's see, we want the text to say... View details. Yeah, so that's good. So now we'll just copy everything that's inside here the i tag, the h2, the paragraph, and the link. And we're going to paste those in here. And we're just going to change a couple things. Uh, this one here is going to say one click. Whoop one click installation and then for the paragraph let me change that and as far as the icon I'm going to change it to FA WordPress which will actually give us the WordPress logo um, oh actually one thing I forgot with these icons we need to make them bigger so we're going to also throw in here FA dash 5x which will bring it up five times okay same thing here okay and that's good for that the next one say daily backups and we're going to change this to fa server and let me just paste in this text real quick All right, if we save that, actually we need to add the FA5X. Okay, and we'll go ahead and reload. All right, so there's our icon, the heading, the paragraph, and the link. 
So now we actually have to style this. And actually, before we do that, I want to add a border. And there's actually a pre made class we can use to do that. So inside of the icon tag, we want FA border. Whoops. All right, and if we reload, now we have a nice border. So let's go into the style sheet and let me put in a little uh, comment here. So marketing, marketing section. Okay, so we want uh, marketing. Let's align every, I think it's aligned center. Let me just check. Yeah, everything's aligned to the center. Okay, and the H2. We want to, I'm gonna set the font weight to normal. Um, and let's just check that. All right, so everything is centered. So that actually looks pretty good. I do want to have some margin under it. And I think we sh should probably do that to the section. Yeah, we'll take the section and add some bottom margin to it. So up here, we go section, say margin top and bottom 30 pixels. Okay. So now we'll do the pricing tables or pricing grid. Okay, so under this section, we're gonna create another one. Um, let me just copy this just to get that base, those base classes. Okay, we'll just get rid of, let's see. Get rid of these, the columns. All right. So that's what we need. Um, as far as the columns, the columns are going to be a little different depending on the size of the browser. Um, I'm sorry, the size of the screen um, or the device. So we're going to have a few classes here. All right, so we'll start at the smallest. Okay, when we have six column, uh, I'm sorry, when it's extra small, we want a six column div. All right, now when it is small, also six columns. Um, next would be medium then it's going to be three and if it is large it'll also be three okay so quite a few classes here all right now we're going to create a panel so div class equals panel and i'm going to add a few other classes here price uh, and also panel gray. Okay, so next is going to be the panel heading. So div class is going to be panel, panel heading. Also some more classes, arrow box. Um, and we're also going to use the text center class. Next we'll have in the panel heading, we'll have our H3 tag, and this will be the starter plan. Okay, and then that div ends, and then we need the panel body. I could have copied this from Get Bootstrap. 
would have made it a little easier. Okay, so class um, panel body. All right, panel body, and also let's center everything. So we'll add the text center class, which is a default bootstrap class. All right, and inside of the body, we'll have a paragraph tag with the class of lead, which is also a bootstrap class. Um, and then I'm just gonna add in a style tag here, uh, just to change the font size to 40. Uh, and then that should end it. And then I want strong text. And this is going to be where the pricing is. So we're going to say three, three ninety nine per month. 